evening, everyone. Curry College Chief of the Forecaster, Joe Shaka. Take a look at the uh, 18Z GFS. Here we have a lot of water coming over the next 10 days, and it's time to start possibly, if you will, getting concerned about potentially some river flooding with the amount of water that could be coming really over the next seven days, really. And we're going to be taking a look at the uh, snow depth that's sitting across and why there are fears over the next couple of weeks or so. But here's the 18Z. GFS, you can see the uh, rainfall over the next uh, 10 days. This is off, again, the 18Z run. You can see a very, very large area, really over the entire Northeast, with southern New England included, uh, at least uh, at least two to two and a half inches of rain, if not more than that. Looking at some of the other guidance, like the European and some of the ensembles off the European, I mean, there's a, there's a very good probability of three, if not four inches of rain, in parts of southern New England and really again the northeast over the next seven to ten days and why this is so much of a problem and here's the 10 day uh, GFS I mean the eight the uh, days 10 to uh, this is out 17 days so this is the other seven six seven days after day 10 but you can see I mean a lot a lot of water potentially three to almost six inches of rain coming down potentially over the next two weeks and here's the CFS days 0 to 10 you can see the uh, three four inches of water and I mean, this is a very, very active pattern. I mean, no kidding, down south as well, but New England uh, especially. Uh, next month or so, 45 days. And now here where we come and visit the problem with all this water that could be potentially falling out of the sky, whether that'll be rain or snow or sleet. In this case, the storm that actually came through last night and today was a little bit more sleet than snow, so there were snowfall issues north of 93 and 128 which we knew there would possibly be but in any case here's the current snow water equ equivalent across uh, northern new england you could see there is a very 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 large area up in through here of over appears to be at least six inches if not close to 20 almost two feet of liquid that is up in their area so you can see a uh, six nine up to 20 inches of uh, liquid so if that basically is, is if you were to melt all the snow that's sitting up in this region, that's how much water there would be in inches. So, I mean, that's a very, very high amount of water. And with more snow and rain coming, we're going to be adding on to that and obviously melting it at the same time. So that raises concern for f river flooding and obviously stream flooding. And there's a couple big rivers in here. One of them that we will mention here is the Merrimack River. That starts up in the White Mountains and drains all the way down to the Merrimack Valley. And then obviously out to the seacoast. It empties out in eastern Essex County near Ipswich. So that's something to keep an eye on over the next week and a half to 10 days, how these rivers and streams handle all the snow melt and additional precipitation coming. Here's the current snow depth you can see here again, where we had issues with our at least my forecast and a couple other forecasts that I saw. Again, north of 93 and 128 with that white line is we were forecasting, um, at least I was, and a couple others, including the National Weather Service. And Taunton was forecasting uh, 12 to 24 inches of snow at one point yesterday. But as you can see here, we really saw basically 5 to 9 inches of snow across the Merrimack Valley here in southern New Hampshire. But in any case, you can see northern New England again. Northern New England does have a lot of snow on the ground up here again, upwards of two to three if not more than four feet of snow on the ground in that part of the region. And here's the temperatures in the next seven days. You can see New England with that snowpack and with more moisture coming. We will continue to struggle trying to warm up. But maybe days 9 through 16, there's some signs that we could be getting warm relative to average. Looking at some of the models, maybe into the 60s and 70s down the road getting into mid-April and again. With all that liquid sitting around, melting going on, and more liquid being added to this, again, that raises the concern for potentially river and stream flooding. So certainly a very, very interesting situation to have watched unfold over the next couple of weeks as New England tries to fight its way into spring. That's it for now, and thank you for watching.